everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on Tinker World today, and I'm heading over to the Ender Ender to do some repairs and also to uh, kind of uh, let people know they need to be putting books back. Everybody has uh, been taking books, but nobody's been replacing any, and the supply has been getting really, really low. Um, we have chests here. We're supposed to have books, and that is all that's there. We used to have four chests worth, now we're down to basically a half of a double chest. Let me uh, turn that down. There we go. So uh, we're going to set up a sign here. It's going to tell people, hey, replenish books. Please replenish book supply. There, all done. That's the first thing we were going to do in this episode. Um, it's just kind of a, a pain for people who don't have a lot of selection for books. Whenever I do my AFK fishing, I will go in and take all the books and bring them over here. Now, I may use some of them or not. I don't know. But see, we don't have anything in these chests. It's just crazy. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get all of my uh, various equipment uh, fully uh, healed, if you will, fully mended. And then um, we're going to go on and do some more stuff. So, let me get that and I'll be right back. One of the things I would like to uh, get in this episode is to get a fully uh, functional beacon set up. Now to do that though, I need to get um, another wither skeleton head. So we're going to go down here to where a lot of the wither skeletons are spawning. Of course I have lots of the... Uh... There we go, see if I can get that guy. Hey, that's a nice shot. Got to kill all these people. See if we can get some uh, wither skeletons to spawn. And we'll kill them and hopefully get a wither skeleton head. Then we can summon the wither. Then we can get all that we need for the uh, the beacon. Let's see here. There's that guy here. Kill him. There's a lot of blazes around here. Okay, let's put out the fires that we have because uh, we really want these to be uh, spawning. He's going to shoot me, isn't he? There's a skeleton right there. And we're hurt. So, let's see if we can get the skeleton. It would be great if it dropped the first one. Let's see here. I'm going to run up to it and hopefully it'll drop the first one. We'll drop what we need. Here we go. Really? Nope, of course not. So I'm going to keep on fighting here looking for uh, wither skeleton heads. So hopefully we'll find one pretty soon. I'll let you know.
There we go. I see a head there. If we can dot die. Yes, we got a head. Okay, let's heal up. There's the Wither Skeleton head. I'm going to head back to base and make sure I get the other Wither Skeleton heads. And then we're going to try to summon the Wither here in just a minute. This is great. The next step in this process is I want to be able to fight the Wither. And there's a technique you can use in the Nether using the bedrock at the top levels that you can kill the weather automatically without having to have any uh, really uh, a tough time with it. So I need to get up to the top and I also need to uh, find an area that's ideal for this. So I'm going to go, this is my base down here, this is the tunnel heading towards the ice spikes biome that we made. I'm going to dig up here a little bit since this is not near anybody's base and I'm going to try to find this location. So let's just start to go up here basically looking for bedrock and it's right up there which is nice and close so let me just start to get up there and then what we're going to do is we're going to look around and see here uh, probably can start right cutting into it right here let's see yeah so here we go now i'm going to start looking around for the bedrock spot what we want to have is a three by three area of bedrock that's flat and see that's going to be hard to find but we'll find it eventually and uh, once I do, I'll come back and I'll show you the rest of this process. We're going to give this a shot in just a second. I actually came up right here and I took a long path and was looking around for stuff. And then on my way back, I dug out a little more and happened to find a spot right here. Um, so basically what it is, is there's a three by three area of just bedrock. Okay. You can see the squares there. Now under the center line, there's two air blocks. And then I put a block where I want the wither to stand on. Okay. Now... This is the way it's supposed to work, and I'm going to try this out. If it doesn't work, we will see. But basically, if we put soul sand on each of the blocks that I placed down here, okay, all I need to do is put heads on here, the three heads, and the wither should spawn, but it should die inside of the bedrock up there. Now, I'm going to go run down this, this tall hall real quick if I have to. See, hopefully we won't die. Oh, don't need it there. Wrong spot. Okay, here we go. One two, three. Hopefully this won't uh, hurt me. Let's see. He's taking damage there. You can see it taking damage. Not a lot, but it's taking damage. That's good. If I can help it out here. <laughs> Excellent. So this looks like it's going to be very easy. Maybe we'll get the nether star we need, and then we can make a beacon. Well, that was smart. Okay, so now... Here we go. Excellent, and there we have it. So that worked out really well. I need to clean this up, make us look a little bit nicer as best I can, um, and then we're going to uh, use that to kill the wither every time. So this is superb. That worked out really well. Let's go back and let's go make a uh, beacon. Okay, here we go. Let's make the beacon. The beacon here, we can look at the recipe here. Here it is. It takes three obsidian, five glass, and the other star that we just received. And there we go, we have a beacon. Now, what we need to do is we need to go and build the beacon someplace. And I'm just going to temporarily build it right over here. The base has to be, let's see, three, five, seven, nine wide. So let's do that really quick. Let's start right here. And uh, let's make this thing. Let's start one off. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe it's nine because then the top will be seven, then five, then three, and then the top will be one. So yes. Okay. So let's uh, make this up here. And I'm going to work on making this, and then we'll put the beacon on top in just a second. We have our pyramid. Let's uh, place this down. There we go. And what are we going to put onto it? We're going to put in a piece of iron. Uh, we are going to... Why can't I select any powers? That's weird. There they are. I'm not sure what that was about. We want on here, we want uh, haste, 
haste to we'll put that in there and say check and there we go so we should have the haste icon excellent so now we have haste two at our beacon look at that isn't that great I'm gonna take a screenshot that could be the thumbnail for this one okay now I got to figure out what we're gonna do next because uh, that went a little faster than I thought so let me uh, get some ideas uh, written down and we'll come back okay so I think I've decided what I want to do next and that is I'm going to do a wither skeleton farm we have this nice long run here it goes pretty far it's over a lava lake it seems like it's an ideal location for a, 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 a wither skeleton farm so I'm gonna do it right here I'm gonna be using Tango Tech's video he recently uh, his tutorial he recently released on a video I'll put a link to that into the description but uh, yeah basically I'm gonna start it from right about uh, probably about here I'll put a block here so pass this point on over that way I have a way to get down and we can get into it without causing uh, any problems the basics of it is and I'm gonna have where this uh, block is here where I'm pointing will actually be a um, daylight sensor right here and then you have on top of that you have an upper slab let's see if I can do this right okay you have an upper slab and on top of that we're gonna have stairs so you see I brought a lot of stone because I know I'll be doing this okay and this entire thing this shape not this block here but we'll have a daylight sensor here this entire shape goes all the way down to where I want to stop and then we'll make this where we have our uh, area so yeah this is gonna be pretty cool I could go off even further but I think this is as far as the nether fortress actually starts so we'll start it right here so I'm not sure how efficient this will be or whatever uh, we'll just have to see but I'm gonna to start to just kind of scope this out and figure out where this needs to go and I'll be back all right as you can see I have done the entire channel here to where we walk I also then did, did the next step which was uh, convenient at the time which was creating the space where the spawning happens so basically it passed this block here this row it goes out 15 blocks and then it goes three high which I put glass on each side and then a slab roof so that was pretty easy it took a little bit but this way I can be here running back and forth and we don't have a problem with the blazes or anything spawning against me. Now, this, see, this wither skeleton does see me, and that's the goal. So as I go over here, they will see me and will be good to go. They'll follow me down, but blazes are not firing at me. That's what we're trying to get. Okay, so I'm not. I'm gonna stay in this little area right here. The next step is going to be to put um, the end areas on, which will then uh, allow the wither skeletons to be killed. And then once we get done with that, then we'll work out a way to get in here properly. Uh, and then this should be functional. So let me work on the end caps and I'll be back. I've put in the end caps and this is uh, one end. And you can see that there are some wither skeletons down here. Now, the nice thing about this is if you don't jump, you shouldn't aggro any blazes or anything else that's in the area. So basically just the uh, wither skeletons. So if we run down here, the wither skeletons will see us. Now, I'm just walking, I'm not sprinting right now. So you can see they get focused on us. And there are some more skeletons down here, it looks like. But they will follow us all the way down. And then they'll come up to the stairs and go stand on the hoppers. And when we they do that, they just get lined up just perfectly for us to kill them. So here we go. So I'll stand right here. You'll see they'll come up here, they'll run up. And there we are, and we'll just start to kill them off. See if we get a skull or not. Okay, so here's the chest. We'll go in the chest here. I don't see any in there, just some coal and some bones. But that was the first start. And then what you do is you would uh, go back down. And if any skeletons spawn, you can see there's one on the right. They would also then start to track us and follow us down. And see, the blazes are not shooting at us, which is good. But if we jumped, they would immediately start trying to shoot us. So do not jump in this scenario. This would be very bad. So we'll just split our sprint on down. He should just keep on following us. Here we go. Dragging him along. So anyway, this will be an easier way for us to kill uh, wither skeletons, get the wither skulls. Okay. I still have one more thing to do with this design, though, and that is I've trapped myself in here. I don't have a way out. So let me kill this guy here. I didn't see any heads there. Um, but anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a passage to get into this section from over beyond this wall where I have my ladder going up to the nether portal uh, tunnels. 
So let me do that next. Let me make that up and then this should be fully functional, ready to go. For this design, I decided to go with the side entrance option. The point is you don't want to come up from above because the blazes can't aggro on you. So what I'll do is I'll go here and it goes down into this section. Blazes cannot see me. They don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And then I can go up here. This takes me over to this spot here where I made a little ladder system, which then goes over and then to the ladder where I usually get down. So this is how I would get in, or anybody else would get into the Wither Skeleton Farm. Okay, so you go down here. Do not jump. <laughs> That'd be bad. Then you get up here, you can say, oh, I'm going to get some skeletons. Now I have a small area here that I um, had to kind of uh, section off. So I decided to make it as close as I can to the stairs. There's enough room here for the any skeletons that happen to spawn here. They can go up and get killed. Okay, so then we'll just go over here. And we'll see if we get any more skeletons. I'm hoping we will. Looks like there are some down here at the end. So let's just grab those, see if we can get a skull. Be nice to get another skull and show that this is working really well. So there's a skeleton over there, a couple at least. We got one, we got one, two, three maybe. That we're gonna be dragging. Here we go. So you go right up against this, there's an iron bar here. You go right up against it and then they come up here. There they are. Wow, looks like it's uh, working really well. Let's see if we get any skulls this time. No. But we're working on it. Okay, next step, I don't know. Um, let's get some more guys really quick because it just spawned up. It's kind of nice. Um, we'll drag them this way. Now, unfortunately, if I drag them this way, they won't be able to go through because of our barrier. So I'm going to drag them back down here. So down this side will probably be the one that has most of the drops. Come on, buddies. Let's go on down here and get killed. And there they are. And we just slap them up a little bit. And they fall down. And looks like there's a sword in there and some coal and some bones. No skulls. But this would work. It's, an, it's slow. It's not like a super efficient farm, but it works. And it'll be easier for people to get the skulls. So people should have beacons shortly. Okay, let me uh, do a couple of runs here to see if I can cut another skull. And then I'm going to head back to base. I know I said in the last clip that I was going to go back to base. And I actually did. But uh, when I came through going back to the base, I really decided that it wasn't as secure getting down there. So I have worked on that a little bit, and I want to show you what that what I've done here. Basically, I've got this uh, set up. This is where I come down normally. I put the ladder on the other side because so it's going more towards the direction of where our entrance is to the farm. So the Wither Skeleton Farm and access to the nether is down here. So what I have here is the ladder. Now I've secured the entire area using glass panes all the way around. And you can see there's like a like a extra area. That's where we go to go into the Wither Skeleton Farm now. So let me get down here real quick. I made a carpet it just cause. Didn't have to, but I thought it made it look a little bit better. So anyway, you go through here, you can see we've got, you know, nothing's around. And now what you can do is you can go all the way down here. Okay? And there we are. Okay? This is really great. Now what you can do if you want to go out to the nether, you can go through that and there's a stairway down. I also added some rules. To basically to use, walk from end to end, and drag the wither skeletons. Kill the skeletons at the end by standing near the iron bar and warning, do not jump, you will aggro everything. So then a, a player on the server can walk into here. Okay. And obviously you can just go back and forth. So let's see. Do we have any skeletons? It looks like there's a bunch of skeletons. So here we go. We're going to do this one more run here. Wow, look at them all. So this tends to work. I mean, it's not the uh, most efficient, obviously, and there's a lot of things I can do by uh, changing up and getting rid of some of the land so there's less places to spawn and that sort of thing. But it, it'll work for what we want. Um, I don't need like an endless supply of stuff from wither skeletons. But it looks like it's working really well. So I'm gonna drag them all the way down here. Now come up here and we'll kill them off. Let's see if we can get ahead. So it's going down into the chest. I already have two from my uh, testing here, so this is pretty good. I guess I can get rid of that sword too. I don't need to carry these things. Anyway, I see that was because he went up the stairs. And that can happen if they go up the stairs. And that's unfortunate, um, and I don't know how to fix that problem. And of course, these guys can jump in. That's okay, though, we can kill him.
I'm not sure why I aggroed this guy. I haven't been jumping, so that's weird. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been jumping. This should be secured for them. From get them uh, getting aggro on us. So anyway, that's what I've done here. I'm going to get back to base. Oh, we're back at base. I've put everything away. I've got a lot of villagers stacked up. This entire villager trading system is filled up. So I have to go back sometime soon. I'll probably do this off camera or in a live stream. But I have got to go through here and um, check on all the trades that they have. And get rid of the ones I don't need. So that's something I probably will do uh, in the stream. I think I might do a stream later today. Possibly tomorrow. Um, so that's something that's got to be done. But yeah, we had a pretty good day today. We got some another Wither Skeleton Skull. We were able to finally go and get a... Uh, a beacon made, which I have made a thumbnail for. And then we uh, went out and went into the nether and made a wither skeleton farm. It's been a great day. I have really had a lot of fun today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Again, I am Tinker77. See? That's me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.